Welcome to another War Thunder video. So today I'm going to be presenting kind of a controversial counter argument to everyone talking about uh, War Thunder removing those vehicles. So today I'm going to specifically only be talking about the mouse and why Gaijin kind of has a point when they're trying to remove it. So let's talk about what the mouse really is. So the mouse is like heavy tank gone too far. And throughout the evolution of the game, you can see that you know heavy tanks have been slowly but surely kind of phased out. They're no longer as capable um, as they were previously before. So um, just um, a disclaimer before we start is that I am quite bad at playing the mouse. I'm not uh, that good at all. And I mean, I usually play those fast tanks like the R2F1, the Leopards, etc. And you can see here that uh, the mouse has two or three things that can't define it. So number one is obviously its armor. Its armor, um, well let's come on to that later. Number two is the fact that it's slow. It is very slow. It is too slow. I mean, usually when you play with the mouse, it's uh, you are really, really far behind the enemy. Unless or wrong with your team. Unless you are, you know, all of you are caught up for trying to fight. So I see here in this ga gameplay a tank rolling across and you know I couldn't really get him. But um, number three is its cannon. Now its cannon, let's talk about the cannon first. Its cannon is good, it's very good, it's a 128 cannon. But it's good at 6.7 where the Jag Tiger is not at 7.7. .7. In at 7.7 .7 you will start to really uh, struggle a little bit against the tanks that you face. Now in this game I do bounce a little bit, my aiming isn't really good with this because I'm used to high velocity shots as you'll see later, but all in all, this the mouse isn't, well at 7.7 .7, it does kind of struggle. So I see shots coming from there, I investigate, I don't really see anything, but I keep moving forward. Now the armour, what is so good or so bad about the armour? The armour is kind of where you can say that um, this is kind of really the main thing about where it might be better to have the mouse as an event tank. It's because it's armor. Right, you can see there's a BMP on the right, and I see it as well. The armor, as you can see there, can bounce a shot from a BMP. Yeah, but that's not really that impressive. But as I was saying, so the armor is good for conventional rounds or against conventional rounds, such as you know the normal APHE. You have the uh, APCR etc. But then when you get to the higher end rounds such as APDS, EFS, even face APFSDS then the mouse struggles hugely, hugely. And you know, you can see that again in the videos I present to you today, but that kind of means that you can't really up tier it because it'll struggle, especially because it's slow. Because you know, if you have tanks with bad armor, at least they have maneuverability. So I see the size six in the game. Shoot him, I somehow get like a seems like a shot trap hit right into the cannon breach. So he's after the game for a while. Tried a 75mm him, um, but 75mm just the muzzle velocity of that is far, far, far lower. And so I see you know some more shooting going on to my right, so I decide to investigate. But the mouse, usually, in like for example, with leopard with the leopard one where its armor is bad. It relies on more maneuverability, being able to get into good positions. The mouse, of course, does not have that at all. Its armor you can't really rely on at this tier because at this tier, tanks have things like APDS, APFSDS, HFS, or most commonly I think HFS. I know when I play, for example, my SCRB, the mouse is an easy target just because I mean APDS can really do some work on it. Also, my ATGMs and loads of tanks have ATGMs, and this is where I want to introduce you to kind of the antithesis of the mouse, the thing that really uh, makes you cry when you fight, uh, play the mouse, and that is the uh, BMP. So the BMP uh, is fast; it's far faster. So it can get into good positions, and it has those missiles. So it nullifies your. Uh, of course I then shoot him and I kill him but that was more because he didn't really know how to play that well he could have just hid behind and rocketed me as this BMP does so the BMP 
you know, because of this uh, 80 gems, nullifies completely your armor advantage. Your armor is good against, like I said, conventional rounds, but once you start getting into the better rounds, you know, it doesn't really do too much. You can see here that, okay, I wasn't angling optimally, but if I was fighting vehicles like, you know, T-34, Tigers, etc., this would have been a good angle. Like, someone would have to uh, aim more specifically at me, such as uh, my turret cheeks, etc., or the proper side um, of my tank, not just the uh, side while some angles. But, of course, his ATGMs go straight through me. And remember, the last game, be game before this one I played, the ATGM went straight through me as well, just one shot me completely um, from a BMP. So, what is War Thunder uh, Gaijin going to do with the mouse? I think what they're going to do is kind of sensible. So, you can see that, uh, well, I jade out, I'm now in another match. But they're going to make it an event vehicle. Now, what does this mean? Well, I don't know whether it'll be on the market, but let's assume it does today. So, it's going to be on the market. It's still going to be in, not the tech tree, but still going to be playable and also obtainable as well through events. And because it's already, like, those people play it, it's not going to really be a, like, a hard to obtain vehicle, I would think. You can see here, I'm fighting a T-47. He hits me. I believe through the turret cheek, but, uh, you know, I'm struggling. I reverse back. I try to angle because I know I won't be able to reverse back in time. But, um, I try to shoot him as well. But he shoots me. This is a T-47, T-54, 9347. So it's not a, it's not a tank that has heat effects, I believe, unless it was changed a while back. But it's still able to get me with this H APHE shot. And so we get into the second battle. So here we are, um, Domination Alaska, and this is kind of like the best position or the best situation you can play the mouse in. So unlike other tanks at this battle rating, you know, where they have some flexibility in what they can do, so you know. A single from the one, the M48. So I don't have it, but from what I can see, it plays a bit more, a bit like um, M47, just better. Um, but that you know, the M48 can you know move a little bit. It has a good cannon. The armor is you know you shouldn't really rely on it. And I think this is like a key point in you know why the mouse, like why Gaijin thought of removing the mouse because it relies on its armor. That's its big thing, just armor. If it doesn't, uh, if its armor gets penetrated easily, then it doesn't have anything else to, uh, you know, rely on. And you can see, like, its speed. Like, look at this. The leopards are all running away. Leopard as well, you know. Same battle rating. And look, it's already gone off. The leopard is, like, it might be one of the better tanks at this battle rating. But it still, you know, is the embodiment of what 7.7 .7 is, not this. This is kind of like in the past. And this is what would have been the embodiment of 7.7 .7, top tier, you know, heavy armor, can that is decent, and so on and so forth. So, this is probably why Gaijin are thinking of not even removing it, because people are making a big fuss about it being removed. And, I mean, maybe this is a good time to actually say what is happening to it. Also, by the way, in the background footage, I'm just editing a little bit the, this very video in the background, because I know it's going to take me a long, long time. For me to do anything, so that's why it, the screen has frozen because of all tabs. But guys, what they're doing is they literally they will literally in up to 1.291 move the tank from being researchable into being an event vehicle, like classified as an event vehicle. And so that means that you'll be able to probably get attacked in events. And also, I don't know exactly whether you might be able to play uh, trade in the marketplace, but that is potentially also an option. So. First of all, let's talk about the marketplace. Will it be expensive, like the 100? No, because thousands and thousands of players would have had the mouse, and so there'll be a lot of tank, a lot of players who would be able to sell it to the marketplace. And obviously, since there's uh, more competition, the prices will be driven down. That's like economics. So that's unlike, for example, E100, where it's so so rare that it's just very expensive because people can afford to do that because of the um, lack of competition and um, how many people want it. Opposite, of course, with the mouse. And secondly, what the event vehicle means is that it's kind of like 
small for special vehicles. So this tank, like I said, occupies very specific niche. So essentially where its armor is good enough and its cannon is good enough and its mobility or lack of mobility isn't an issue. Now at you know at lower battle rating, so let's just say six point uh, sorry, seven point three, even seven point three or seven point oh. Uh, the armor in the mouse would be too strong because heat FS and APDS and shells like that, or shells that can easily penetrate it, um, aren't that prevalent, and so you know it would be too strong. And essentially, all you have is loads of tanks running around, loads of mouse running around, just causing too much havoc. So you can see here, just going back to the game, that um, I've kind of put myself in pretty ideal situation or position for the mouse. So I'm facing the enemy, I see a tank and I shoot him, that was a, I'm going to say it's a good shot um, by me, I went for his weak spot and got it, that was um, a Megak 3, and I move forward because I, in this game I'm kind of impatient, but going back to the event vehicle status, the mouse is kind of like, a, it's not your average like 7.7 .7 vehicle, it does need, you know, some Taming some specialism, some patience, and then maybe then you can get to ha or have some fun with it. And so making it an event vehicle means that it has you know that special place. You can need to either earn it or you know work for it, make it special. So you have loads of event vehicles which um, which are you know have that kind of unique in their own sense. So a P fifty nine, for example, you know a jet fighter at that low BR. And obviously it's not easy to play, from what I've seen, I don't have it, but it's not easy to play, it requires some thinking, some skill, but you can make it work. And the mouse, probably harder to play than that, but, you know, with some skill, you can make it work. Now here I see a tank, M47, and that was my bad, I'm just used to firing high, uh, higher um, velocity shells, and obviously I can't uh, get the 75mm on target either or not in time anyway so you know the mouse is that kind of tank where each guardian has to think what are we going to do with it okay it is but is it a staple of the game it's um, a fairly famous vehicle both in the game and in real life but it's never played out I mean the only reason we have more mouse in this team is just because um, Guardian has announced that they're going to um, make changes with it. And here actually is an example of um, just how, not bad the mouse is, but just how uh, tough it is to play the mouse because I'm here in a World War II vehicle and I hear a helicopter with 80 gems. This helicopter with 80 gems can go straight through me and it's not as if, okay, well, you know, the armor at this tier or the mouse's armor at this tier is. You know, if you angle right, it's fine. Because without the heavy tanks, for example, the Tiger, uh, Tiger One, the uh, the armor is hard to, um, you know, use or manage. But if you angle well, then it's better. But no, like a helicopter from several kilometers away can just snipe me, one shot me. It's M18. You know, thought it would be nice to go in front of my gun, and it wasn't really. For some reason, I blew up my barrel. But yeah, as I was saying. There are virtually no mouse uh, players or no mouse vehicles in your average 7, 7 game. So only now that Guardian has um, announced um, what they're going to do with the mouse, that more people are going to play it um, for the time being. And see, I think people realise that it's harder to play if you want a good 7.7 .7 German tank. You can use the Leopard. This is only really like a special, unique vehicle for when you feel like it. And so, all in all. You know, I'm not too fussed about what they're doing to uh, the mouse. I think that, in terms of how they think their decisions and what decision they need to make with the mouse, it's one of the ones that is a hard decision to make because here they have a unique vehicle, a staple vehicle, a famous vehicle, and it's impossible to balance balance it with a too low BR, and then it will be not like overpowered; it will be far too overpowered. This armor at lower battle ratings is impenetrable. But higher battle ratings and suddenly the shells just go straight through and there's a huge shift in the meta where tanks are basically faster, less armor, 
but uh, powerful, powerful cannons. This is basically essentially every um, every nation is doing this, you know. And you have the medium tanks of the Americans, which are, have the heat of S now, they're fast, so the armor's decent. You have, um, of course, the leopards, and so on and so forth. Obviously, the British tanks kind of, uh, as usual, have their own thing going on, but that works for them. So as you can see in the game, I've been shot at, and again, just because, okay, I have pushed too far, but I have pushed too far in this game. Uh, but, you know, this could have been a different game where it's just open countryside, and I could have been flanked by any tank, like I said, a BMP, um, any other tank. So I'm taking out now the ME262, A1A, and I didn't really do too much in this game, so it's actually a good opportunity to talk a little bit more about the mouse and guys and what they're doing with, uh, you know, the mouse. So, as I've said before, I think it's a decent decision just once you know how everything's happening. This is, the mouse is, like I said, an impossible tank to balance, so they need to change things up a bit. And I think they've done, I mean, in their position, they had to think of, uh, you know, something new in order to do with this vehicle. So, surface again, changing its battery rating, finding out new documents, and then nerfing it or buffing it, and so on. They have to actually, you know, make it somewhat enjoyable to play, make it something that is a special vehicle that isn't just, you know, any normal vehicle that, um, you know, actually brings excitement to the game. So making it an event vehicle, I mean, event vehicles, the whole point of them being an event vehicle is that they are unique. So you don't take out, for example, maybe the VFW, like the VFW, I'm pretty sure, if it wasn't an event vehicle, there'd be far fewer people who were playing it because, I mean, essentially just an open top um, tank destroyer that is easy to strafe from the, um, from the air, has pretty poor traverse, it's easy to flank and so on and so forth, but people like it because it is an event vehicle. Um, and people might say, well, it has, you know, long 88 hats, battery rating, whatever it is, but, you know, plenty of tank rounds or tank um, cannons at this, uh, at that battery rating are, you know, good, they do the job, especially in Germany with the, you know, the Surin Mill and the other um, tank destroyers of that kind. So, making the mouse an event vehicle, you know, Give it something else, give it something special. I'm pretty sure they looked at their stats and thought, one second, the mouse, no one's playing it, you know, and if people are playing it, then they're doing really, really bad in it. But, they thought a little bit about it, you know, battery rating changes, for a normal vehicle, you just put the battery rating down, but with the mouse, immediately would be too powerful. Shells, like I said before, shells at low battery ratings that can easily penetrate the mouse are far, far less prevalent, and at this battery rating, they are pretty common. So, all in all, kind of respect the decision they have made. It's a hard decision to make, and obviously people are going to be annoyed, but it's, I mean, you need to make, have it continue and just people complain about the mouse. Well, they, they, people complain about the mouse now, but no one's playing it, you know. It was hard for me to play the mouse today, and, you know, as you saw today, I got a few kills in this game, but that was due to, you know, a fair bit of skill. So, I mean, I think that concludes uh, my opinions on this matter. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. You can see I'm going to get shot down soon. I'm going to die. Uh, but thank you for watching. Sorry if I insulted you. And uh, goodbye.